I'm here with Ugly Man, Joseph Holmes, man. How you doing? Uh, doing good, man. Drenched. Uh, but I'm very fortunate and lucky to still be sweating this close to weight, you know, kept making weight. And just uh, doing a little fine tuning and getting everything in order, man. Just enjoying life. Enjoying it. I've seen you fight, so I, I've seen that side of Joseph Holmes. Um, it's pretty good to see you out here coaching, man. Um, I see a different side of you, 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 you know, uh, a lot of excitement, you're happy, I see you rooting on your guys. Um, where do you get that from? Dude, honestly, that's the reason that I do this, man. I do this so I can build some guys who are going to win a championship one day, become, you know, the, the best in the world. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to raise champions. So. Since the beginning, I've always figured if that's what I want to do, if that's my end goal, I have to push hard and, and try and be that myself. So that's kind of my, my push. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, man. I see how they um, respond to you, you know, the, looking you at the eye. They're not just, ah, you know, whatever, man. And that's, and that's pretty cool, man. I mean, these guys look up to you. You know, you pave the way for them, and, and hopefully one day they'll, they'll be in your shoes. Um, what did you learn? about yourself and, and what did you uh, gonna take forward moving into your career, you know, um, making it to the UFC to that level. And then now, you know, you've got other aspirations and goals that you wanna accomplish. I guess um, one of the biggest things that I learned being in the UFC is that fighting isn't my identity. For a long time, I, uh, well, so I've, I've been fighting or training my last 10 years of my life and uh, non-stop and uh, for a while you know I, I end up in dark like when I started taking a few losses once I got into the UFC because I'm so used to winning you know winning fast and when I started taking those losses I would have these moments of you know like depression or like being in dark places or like wanting to avoid people you know not wanting to be around you know come to the gym even or be where people are gonna ask me you know when's your next fight or you know, blah, 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 you know, and I would end up in those dark places because with a loss, you know, I didn't want to be identified as a loser. You know, just because I lost my last fight doesn't mean I'm a loser, but when you identify as a fighter, you are your last fight, so you are a loser. So, I, just learning that, I, I, you know, you don't want to, you got to find identity in yourself, not in what you're doing. So, I've always been the kind of person that pursues my passions and the things that make me happy, so... Definitely just trying to just focus on that, being happy, doing what makes me happy, whether it is fighting, whether it is playing a video game, whether it is going out with my wife or, uh, you know what I mean, flying an airplane, which is something I'm looking to do here soon, fly airplanes and stuff, so, you know, <laughs> be bigger than what you do. Yeah, man, I mean, that, that's some real stuff right there, you know, a lot of people want to admit that, um, you know, it, I guess it does suck, you know, for the casual fans that watch MMA. You know, and it's true, you know, you're based on your last performance, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, when you're winning, they love you, and then when you lose, you know, they don't love you, you know, you it's know what I mean? Insane. You know, um, uh, your support system, I mean, I'm sure you got a really good one, you know, so that you know, um, I mean, I, I, you probably don't care what someone thinks about you, you know, but your support system that keeps you going, that loves you and stuff, man, that's got to help you out. Yeah, I mean, I definitely care what people think. What people think about me too. I mean, all of the above. My support system, you know, my immediate support system, one of my best friends, my coaches, my my wife and family. You know, I definitely care what they think about me. You know, that's why when I went to the UFC, I wasn't out there calling people out, cussing people out. You know, being different than who I am. I still want to be myself because, you know, my support system support me because of that. You know, so. But also the people who are just learning about me. I do want them to like me, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that pretends to be someone else, but the person that I am, I do want people to like and appreciate, and uh, with that being said, that's why, you know, I'm, you know, out here working this hard, you know, about to headline a card that's, you know, people would say is beneath me, but this is the beginning for me, aka is where it first started for me, it's some of my first Ami fights, some of my first pro fights even, so... I'm um, just trying to stay humble, you know, and uh, not let myself be bigger than I actually am, you know, and just get out here and do what I love. And, 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 and then from my opinion, man, up, you know, from your first amateur fight, you know, you, you've always been the same, man. Every, every time that I, I see you at an event, whether it's a fight or after the fight, man, you've always been the same in my opinion. 
I've never seen you, you know, yes, uh, you know, real talk, man, I've never seen you like, oh, I don't have time or, you know, oh, in a minute, you know, since day one moment, you know, I met you to now, you've been the same Joseph Holmes. And I wish uh, more people could see that, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes they just see you at the fights, you know, or, or whatnot or, you know, but they don't really get to see an everyday Joseph Holmes, you know what I mean? And and I appreciate that, man. I, mean, I appreciate these moments, dude. I've known you since I was nobody, and I'm still nobody, but, you know, I'll still make time for you and anyone else who's been there since the beginning because you guys aren't blowing steam up my ass, you know what I mean? You're legit. You legit know what the fuck I've been through. Oh, so yeah, because yeah. Because of that, bro, take any time you need, bro. Let's talk because I got all kinds of shit on my mind. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I definitely want to do one of those interviews so that way, you know, um, I, I want them, I want, you know, people to see, you know, the guy that I see, you know what I mean? Not just the guy that, that puts on the gloves and, you know, punches people for a living. Because, you know, there's more to you than just that, you know, like you just said, you know, your identity is not just fighting. I'm not just Joseph Holmes, the fighter. You know, you're a man, you're a father, you know, you're a husband, you're a coach, you know, you're a brother, you know what I mean? There's, there's many levels, you know, that I want everyone to see, you know, but I mean, let's talk about this fight coming up, you know, at... Um, Marksville, Louisiana, you know, AK-31, you know, your opponent, a lot of people see him as an up-and-coming, you know, prospect, you know, how, how do you um, see that you match up with this kid? I mean, he's pretty average, um, you know, if you look at him, you see a bunch of guys look just like him, you know, he even looks like a guy that I fought for my UFC contract, uh, uh, Petit, uh, Jonathan Petit, he literally looks the exact same as him, like, the way he celebrates after a win and everything. So, I mean, match up the same way I match up against anyone else, bro. All these guys, we're all just regular guys out here trying our best to be ready for that night. So it doesn't matter if this guy has been training as long as I have or as long as he has, you gotta show up that night, you know? So, um, I have been through a lot of ups and downs and I've been on a lot of giant stages and um, all of that leading me to some of the small things I need to fix which are just showing up on the night and this this Saturday I will show you guys that I'm going to show you. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I, you do have the experience, you know, as to someone where, you know, like he's up and coming and uh, he sees your name he's like, oh, you know, you, you don't know how he's going to be, you know what I mean? He's got to deal with that pressure. Hey, he took my walkout song. Yeah. Hey, hey, well, hey, that, there's another reason. How do I get bullied out of my walkout song? Man, but um, you know, talk about some of your your guys on this on this same card as well. Yeah, I got uh, four of my up and comers. I got uh, my guy Neb, and this is going to be his debut. Neb is a phenomenal striker, um, very traditional in his ways. Um, he's very dangerous with his legs. Um, working on his grappling some more, but his takedown defense and submission defense is, I'd give it about a 6 out of 10 right now, so it's more than what we can ask for at that level. I'm really excited to see him. He'll probably be early on in the card. Um, we got Rigo, Miranda, um, trying to come back and get his first win. He had two hard first fights uh, where he was doing phenomenal, uh, really laying it on his opponents, but um, you know, it's MMA, these guys are going to grab him, these guys are going to take him to the ground and stuff. So he's been working heavily on his grappling, I look forward to seeing him, uh, him fix, fix the few mistakes he has. We also have Fabian Reyna, and Fabian's, Fabian's killing it right now as an amateur. Um, uh, been training since he was like 14, he's 18 now, or 17 or 18 now. Uh, just graduated, so he's dedicated all his time to the gym. Um, this kid is so good. Watch out for him. His grappling is as good as it gets. His striking is great. He has a boxing background. The kid's fearless. Uh, really look forward to Fabian. And I think, I think it's just us four, if I'm not mistaken. I think we had a fifth, but it didn't work out. Sweet, man. I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, you back in action. And these up-and-comers, man, because that's what I do. You know, I like to, you know... Um, Shine a light on the guys that are Yeah, there. yeah, you know, because when they get there, you know, hey, they're, they're ready. Um, you just just like you, you know, oh, for your nice. your amateur, you know, I was interview. Getting, I was getting interviewed every fight by you guys. And you know, and... I went pro, I love that shit, and these guys don't love it. At the time. Yeah, you know, it, it just depends, you know, um, no matter what gym, man, we show love to everyone, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate the time, Joseph. Um, any shout-outs you want to give out to, man, family, friends, sponsors? Yeah, uh, shout out to Push Fitness. 
uh, out here in Mesquite, they have a location. Go hit up my guy Chris Chabranos, get you a membership over there. Uh, shout out to Iridium Sports Management Agency, the best agency on the planet. Uh, shout out to Texas MMA Roundup. You guys are awesome. You're always showing love to uh, up and coming fighters, and we appreciate it. And then SFS MMA, you already know, guys, we're coming to take over, aka Joseph. Come watch this fight, AKA 31, Marksville, Louisiana. Man, appreciate it, man, Joseph. Best of luck to you, brother. My pleasure, bro.